The Wizards looked impressive at times in Sunday's game one win in Philadelphia, keeping it close while looking to upset the top seed 76ers before ultimately coming up short. Westbrook finished with 16. Stephen A., should we consider this a moral victory for Westbrook? Absolutely not, because it's Russell Westbrook. There is no such thing as moral victories at this stage point. He's phenomenal, and we know that. But with greatness comes great expectations. Now, even though we don't expect the Washington Wizards to win the championship or anything like that, uh, the reality is, is that, again, you can't look at a game and say, well, you know, it was a tough game. It was tough. I, I got news for you. Bradley Beal is a big-time player, okay? He might need to improve his numbers in the fourth quarter, but he's overall a big-time talent. Russell Westbrook and Bradley Beal are, are, are one of the top three backcourts in the entire National Basketball Association. So when you look at it from that perspective, at the end of the day, you finished as a top eight seed, which means you made the playoffs, and I guess you deserve props for that. But I look at Russell Westbrook, and I see a future Hall of Famer. And with that comes great expectations. And you going, you being on the verge of going home in the first round for the fourth time in five years, um, you know, having close games and close calls, don't cut it. Um, I think that there is a moral victory here. The fact of the matter is, take a team like Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. They are put together. They have an elite player in Embiid. They have a guy who can't shoot, but in every other facet of the game is elite as they come in Ben Simmons. They got floor spacers, Daryl Morey. They got efficient players in the paint. Morey brings in Danny Green and Seth Curry and Dwight Howard, and mm -hmm. they have a whole lot. No, the Wizards are not supposed to beat them. This is what I'm looking for from Washington this season. Westbrook and Beal, I don't know how that works together. Does it work together? Because you can see things like Booker and Chris Paul. That's going to work. On paper, how's this going to work? And Westbrook, as he does every year, figures it out in the second half. He did it with James Harden. He did it again with Bradley Beal. And what you're looking for, they're, they're another star short. Let's, let's be honest. They're a star short. They need, or at least a bunch of role players who are better than the ones they have. What you're looking for is, can you build with that? Can you be an elite team behind that backcourt? I think what Westbrook and Beal have shown in the second half is, yes, they can challenge. They need more on the team. But can this work? Yes, it can. Here's That's a moral can, victory. Here's what can be said. They seem to really, really have a lot of genuine love for one another mm -hmm. and love for playing together. And I do believe you can build around the both of them. I truly believe that. But again, that comes with expectation. We, it, 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 you know when I'll stop saying that? When you're willing to come out and say, or may, maybe, actually, maybe I should say it now, because Westbrook did say championships don't matter. He said, hey, you out, you play hard, you give it all you got. He said, but I've seen plenty of champions that are not happier than me. I'm a champion at life. It don't matter to me whether it's champion or not. Now, if that's truly how he feels, maybe I should shut the hell up and not say anything about it. But being a basketball purist and a basketball lover the way that I am and recognizing his greatness mm -hmm. and then looking at Bradley Beal's greatness, although this year wouldn't be the year to say that, I have absolutely every right to expect they should be knocking on the door sooner than later to challenge the powers in fair. the East because of their greatness. Fair. But, Both that's, of them. but that's not today. That's not but today. Fair. That's and what they today. showed was, what I will say this, they set the table with expectations the way they've played mm -hmm. to show that if the team gets a little better roster around them, mm -hmm. then those are the expectations well, I, I, I'll give them credit. They just and, did it. And they're going to fight. They're going to scratch. They're going to claw. The 76ers are not going to blow them out. But that doesn't mean the series is going to go longer than five. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.